customer. So let's save and close that and check it out. So if I save and close it, I can go to the tab to the right and I can refresh. And then of course, in the accounts receivable, we should have scrolling down. There's the 800 there. That looks right. Looks like what I would expect. If I go to the income statement and refresh, then we should have service revenue going into the service revenue. And there it is. There's the service revenue. That looks good. Scrolling back up, going back. And then notice we can also kind of sort this report. If I went to the total only, or you can make another report and sort it by customer and run it. And so now you've got this information uh, broken out by customer and you can kind of see this information for the job here that's been broken out of uh, 3005. And if I go to this first tab and I go down to my, to my sales information and I was gonna go to my customers and close out the customers, then for Jones Guitars, we've got the actual item in here so if I was to say I've got uh, open invoices, three of them. And so there we have Jones Guitars uh, and the sub for the sub customer or job. And so there's the detail for it where we have our, our invoice and our time. So there's the time charge and the invoice. So you get that nice detail. The time charge is now closed because we've built it out. Uh, on the invoice. So it gives you that indication that, that it has that open time or when we charge the time so that it'll give you a little reminder in there that we need to be invoicing out the time that has been billed on the timesheet.